Guys, next we have something really, really special, something that has never been tried before on a st any stage, anywhere. Um, you know how we always like to have XR tech on stage, but this is really taking it to a whole new level. Calling it ambitious would be an understatement. So everybody, cr cross your fingers starting now. Welcome to MetaTraversal, a day in the life of three act play about humanity in the metaverse. So after uh, the last seven months, the, the MetaTraversal group has been helping to galvanize our community around the need for interoperability standards with the vision that traversing between worlds in the metaverse should be as easy and as possible as clicking on a hyperlink. And today, this advocacy continues in a new format, or rather, I should say, one of the oldest formats, a stage play, but with a twist. The journey you're going to see, our actors taking a, a journey through the metaverse, is being performed live. The show aspires to inspire you with a vision of what could be with seamless and effortless metatraversal traversal. Standards are the only way that we can ensure that enabling technologies are openly and widely available. And we are at an inflection point in a technological revolution. There is a lot of work for all of us to create the right standards at the right time so we can together build an inclusive and equitable metaverse for two pervasive scale. Initiatives like the Open Metaverse Interoperability Group, the Kronos Group, and many other standards organizations are doing great work to help us overcome the technical challenges and give us the ability to travel the metaverse together. And in no small part, due to the advocacy of the MetaTraversal Initiative, there is significant momentum for these standards organizations to work in coordination rather than in isolation. So for example, watch out for a Metaverse Standards Forum announcement in just a few weeks' time. So thank you to everyone who has been involved in the Metaversal Initiative, and thank you all for attending today and enjoy the show. So now I'm going to hand you over to the narrator of our story, Mr. Terry XR Schuster. Terry. I don't need a mic. Hey, everybody. The metaverse connects us by bridging the physical space between us so that we can be together virtually wherever we are. Today, we will illustrate our new reality in real time by embracing immersive technologies as we tell the story in the day of a life of our protagonist, Sophia. Sophia traverses the metaverse to have meaningful experiences with her colleagues friends, and family. Today is a big day for Sophia. She's got a lot of activities planned, and those activities are going to involve her engagement with the metaverse in a variety of different ways. Her focus is on real-life activities with a digitally enhanced experience. We join her in the middle of her morning workout with her friend Christy. <laughs> oh my god, Christy! Should have been it's practicing so bringing us back to college! <laughs> it's all the coffee in my veins. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. You remember those late nights in the computer lab, Sophia? I remember those. Running the class right after. Wow, Christy. I'm sweating. You gotta give me a head start next time. Oh, Christy. I have a long day today, okay. Sophia, I wanted to show you my new bill. Do you have a few minutes after this? Yeah, wait. Oh shoot, it's June 2nd today. It's Aunt Jackie's birthday. I'm sorry, I gotta call her before work, Christy. We all gotta call her Jackie for her birthday, please. Well, I, 
You need to practice with me some more, Sophia. We gotta follow up. I know, I know. You did really good, but Christy, I gotta go. I gotta go. I got a long day ahead of me. I have a big proposal in front of Future Visioneers Board of Directors. I gotta go. Today! It is! Break a leg! Thanks! Bye, Christy! Bye! Little did Sophia know, when she suggested that Aunt Jackie get a VR headset, just how good it would be for her quality of life. Jackie enjoys traveling the world virtually, co-watching movies with friends, and even playing esports. In fact, right now, she's painting in VR to celebrate her birthday. Hello? Hey, Aunt Jackie. Happy birthday. Oh, Sophia, I'm so glad you called. Wow, thank you so much. I was just about to do a little traveling in VR, and I'd really like you to come with me. Okay, I have a couple minutes before work, but sure, let's do it. Cool. Meet you right there. You know, I'm supposed to see a movie in VR with your mom tonight. I used to love when we would go to the theater before the pandemic, but now with VR, we can watch a movie anytime we want. <laughs> and we don't have to fight over who puts the butter on the popcorn. That's so true, too yeah. funny. Aunt Jackie, look at this place, it's incredible. And look at that Lambo, are you a crypto whale now, Aunt Jackie? Hey, who are you calling a whale, Sophia? <laughs> no, seriously, since you gave me this VR headset, I have just been enjoying traveling all over the world and seeing places I never saw before and doing things that I always thought were too dangerous to do, like base jumping. You want to see my impression of Bitcoin? All right, here we go. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Wow. Woo! Base jumping. Oh, Jack, you're such a daredevil. <laughs> Yeah, well, what am I going to do? Sit around and watch courtroom TV or savvy talk shows all day? <laughs> That's Not <true>. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you weren't right much of the judge show type, on huh, Jackie? <laughs> you got that. Crazy. Is that your house over there? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's much more my style. <laughs> Woo! Wow, I'm busy. That was crazy. On Jackie, never again. Never again. <laughs> wow. Woo! <laughs> Aunt Jackie, you are such a badass. I love you. Happy birthday. Thank you. I love you too. And yes, I am. Thank you so much for coming over, Sophia. You're welcome. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> One of her favorite clients, Julie, is calling in a panic. She had spent all of her budget to build an XR app, but the platform changed and broke the app on the eve of its launch event. Sophia, thank God you're there. I'm good. What's up? Well, I have a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like not good. Thank goodness you're there. It's a frigging nightmare. Do you remember that upgrade you recommended? The one that my predecessor didn't approve? Mm -hmm. Well, now it's come back to haunt us. Our big launch is tonight, and they just pushed a system update that trashed our oh, app. Trashed. I mean, it's dead. Mm. Oh. It's deceased. Oh, it no. is no more. Oh. It's an X application. <laughs> okay, Julie, don't worry. We've got it covered. I'm going to call jo uh, Austin in, and you're going to explain what happened. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks Hold so on much. one second. Why are we using Skype? Save it, Flanders. We have a situation. We have Julie from Legacy Systems on the call with us, and we have a problem. Julie, explain what happened. Hi, Austin. This morning we went to load our app, and the OS update they pushed last night killed it. Mm. Apparently, the vendor won't be releasing a patch in time, and now we're screwed. Marketing has put everything into tonight's product lunch. And if we lose a single lead, heads are going to roll. And without this app, we won't capture any data. 
I see. I take it we're talking about the proprietary CRM data plugin that we recommended replacing with one using open standards data formats in our last report? The one that didn't get budget approved for? Yeah, that's mm. the one. Mm -hmm. Julie, don't worry. We're on it. We're going to get you back up and running by tonight's launch. Austin will take care of it, and he'll let us know when he has a solution. Thank you guys so much. That's Austin. Thank you. You got it. Could not have come at a worse time. Tell me about it. I have a big day today with Future Visioneers presenting this prototype, and I need you to hand this over to you. Can you handle it? Ah, damn it, Sophia. I'm just a data scientist. I'm not a magician. Listen, Bones, you heard the lady. The launch is tonight, and if they can't capture their leads, they're sunk. We have worked way too hard for this client, and saying I told you so is not going to solve their situation. I need to pass this off to you. I need to get to an e a meeting with Evo and Chris. Can you handle it? All right. I have an idea. Trust you do. Make it so, number one. You got it, Captain. Sophia's company, Advanced Integrations, has built a novel prototype navigation API for their client, Future Visioneers. Sophia is working with her boss to go over the details of Sophia's big client meeting. It's essential that Sophia closes this deal. I've got to hand it to you, Sophia. This is great work. QA has signed off and the prototype works great. But do you think they'll go for it? A three-year commitment is a big ask. They have to, Chris. This is a long game. Everything that was in their RFP is in our prototype and it meets all their compliance requirements. And we gave it to them at a great price. The hard part is going to be convincing them to make it open and submit the spec to standard bodies. This is a great IP, and there's no question an open, transversible metaverse is something humanity needs, which is why the profit motive is the challenge, especially when you're asking for such a commitment. Word to the wise, be ready with a good answer. Copy that. These guys are notorious for grilling their vendors. They're like Shark Tank. Uh, sorry, I'm not trying to make you nervous or anything. You got this. Thanks. I know. We've got this. I've got them. But the question is, are they ready for you? I doubt it. Oh, hey, Evo. Well, hi. They're never going to see you coming, Sophia. You're our secret weapon. But first, I need to make sure you have a few specific okay. things right. Most importantly, does the meta traversal emblem have the emissive light bake? Uh, yes, it does. There you go. Perfect. Now tell me, how about those portals? It works perfectly. Whew. All right. Excellent. Excellent work. Awesome. Well, if that answers all your questions and concerns, I have a meeting to run to with Daniel to do some pri uh, final prep for our meeting today. Sophia, I'm good. I'm good. Bring it home. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Wish me luck. Good luck. And now, the calm before the storm. Sophia meets Daniel inside the prototype metaverse that her company, Advanced Integrations, has built for his company, Future Visioneers. Ahead lies the big presentation. But first, they take a moment to enjoy their collaboration and relieve some of the tension and stress of the day. Hey, Sophia, you've absolutely killed it with this. I've never seen a proof of concept so built out. Thank you so much for everything you've put into this. You're so welcome, Daniel. You and I share the same vision. Yours is one of the only companies that actually gets it. Being able to portal together safely in the metaverse, with the same ease as hyperlinks, that's just the way. Agreed. Your navigation API is going to take us to an open future. Once the principles of the Metaverse Standards Forum get behind this, the rest will follow. I've got it this far to get the approvals to push the project. And now it's up to you to convince the board to make the long-term investment. All right, let's go to the beat. OK, here we go. Sweet. This is the coolest portal I've ever seen. We I didn't did a really bring my cool job on this day. I can't wait to present this. 
<laughs> Here we are, beautiful. This is awesome. Yeah, I mean, Daniel, everybody's trying to define their own versions of the metaverse, but Future Visioneers is one of the only companies that actually gets that it's all just one place. When you guys asked us to bid on this open navigation API prototype, we just had to build it for you because being able to portal anywhere just makes sense. Agreed. It's the open part that's the tough sell. That's why the biggest players actually are resisting interoperability. They think they have to keep their platform siloed to recoup their R&D. <laughs> when it's actually completely the opposite. Allowing people to portal and experience the metaverse together, it's just gonna increase the acceleration of their adoption. And that's why we have to work on cooperation and developing these protocols and standards. Absolutely. We don't want to repeat the mistakes from Web 2.0, and there were right. many. So let me try this next portal. Let's go to the forest. To the forest. All right. Wow. Wow. These portals are amazing. <laughs> well, listen, I think it's time, Sophia. I think you're ready for them. Go get them. Thanks. Let's do this, Daniel. The big moment has arrived. Sophia and her team have lived and breathed this project for months. She is fully prepared, but now it's time for the much anticipated Q&A, where she will have to defend her case to a skeptical board. We join her as she concludes her presentation. To me, the need for this is obvious. What's baffling is why this isn't already the way of things. But there's a reason for that. Back when ARPANET was originally funded, interoperability was a mandate. And as a result, we have hyperlinks. The metaverse was built by the private sector with a philosophy of separation. We at Advanced Integrations have solved that with this navigation API prototype and we're ready to scale our efforts to get all the key players on board. We have successfully completed phase one, and we are now asking for you to approve the budget package for the next three years as contained in our proposal. Ladies and gentlemen, I commend Future Visioneers for investing in Metaversal Traversal. With your continued support, we're gonna bridge the systems to create a more inclusive and interoperable metaverse. Thank you, and I'm happy to answer your questions. Thank you, Sophia. I'll begin. Sophia, what makes you think that you can convince the biggest companies in the industry that have a vested interest in keeping their ecosystems closed to open the door to this universal handshake you've built? Metaversal handshake, because that's what traversal is. It's a connection to a resource. It's the R and URL which is a 1.0 idea, web 1.0 idea, and a web 2.0 idea of group interaction is a group chat, or a comment thread, or even a video call. Web 3.0 is the embodied internet, which gives us virtual togetherness, like we're doing right now. And people are gonna want to stay together when they traverse it. So it's in every platform's interest to support interoperable navigation. The ones that don't will inevitably, be, inevitably become isolated as they watch their competitors gain advantage. So, on the contrary, being open, not closed, is in their vested interest. Right, very impressive, Sophia, but now that we've built this prototype, why shouldn't we open it up? Since we have this working, shouldn't we try to monetize, monetize this for ourselves by creating a dependency? I mean, we could make billions out of this. Maybe for a little while, but again, history, very recent history, teaches us that open ecosystems always win in the long run. Look at the MP4 format for video. It took a really long time for that spec to get developed. Meanwhile, we had all these less efficient competing proprietary formats that no one encodes to anymore. Look at Flash. One day a powerful executive ended its reign and now it's been expunged from every browser. That's a big piece of history of the web, lost forever. And with it, all the work by all those developers 
and all that investment in content has been erased. This is just one of the mistakes of Web 2.0 that we don't want to repeat. And what are some of the other mistakes we need to learn from? Not violating the public trust. Are you talking about so-called surveillance advertising? People still expect content to be free, and that's not going to change. The entire internet economy is based on this exchange of value, data for content. So how do you expect to break the model without financially breaking the companies that are investing in the metaverse? By supporting the agency of the individual, Web 3.0 is an opportunity to build a new model. You see, there's nothing wrong with targeted advertising. Where that goes wrong is our individual loss of control about how that data is kept, how it's shared, and how it's used. This is a new paradigm. It's a new tech stack, and we need to build trust between the individual and the digital ecosystem. We build trust by facilitating friction-free choices of where, when, and with whom people travel in the metaverse. But most importantly, by giving people sovereignty over their own data. And I say giving because this isn't something we've had before. Hold on. What does self-sovereign identity have to do with immersive navigation? It has everything to do with it. In a virtualized universe where anything is possible, how do we know what's authentic? How do we know that you are you and I'm me? Is that really you behind the avatar or are you an imposter? When the metaverse grows to a pervasive scale, the problems that we have today with fake accounts are going to be a lot worse if we don't have a way to determine what's genuine. Are those your digital goods? Is that link really taking you where it says it is? NFTs are only the beginning. You are what's non-fudgeable. I get it. So how does this prototype you built for us manage consent? And how do you expect platforms to adopt an identity model outside their control when the status quo makes it advantageous for every system to have a separate login for everything? Just like in the real world, there will be private places and public places. Some places you need ID, some you don't. You need a passport to enter a different country, but once you're in, you're in. It's all about satisfying the identification requirements of a destination while giving the individual the choice of how their information gets used. But getting back to Terry's question, why should we submit this question as an open specification? We have invested so much in this, and now you're not only asking us to invest more money, but you want us to give this IP to the world? I do understand. You... I, <laughs> I understand that every company that has invested billions into R&D has shareholders to report to. I understand that the only way those investments in the metaverse will be recouped is through mass consumer adoption. But I also understand that an interoperable metaverse is inevitable. It's just a matter of how long it takes for the stakeholders to cooperate with each other. And I'll leave you with a success story, an exemplary case of openness winning. WordPress. Did you know that WordPress powers over 450 million websites? That's over 43% of all of the websites on the internet. Automatic is privately held and was recently valued at $7.5 billion and recently did a $250 million stock buyback. Meanwhile, WordPress's core is 100% free and 100% open source. This is Future Visioneer's opportunity to lead by example. This is Future Visioneer's opportunity to set the tone for the next evolution of how humanity interacts. The stakes aren't how much money we're going to make today or tomorrow or a quarterly earnings report. The stakes are about what's getting it right. And building the metaverse to be inclusive is how we do that because the future is interoperable. Thank you, Sophia. To you and to your team. Great job. But as you can tell, we need to have an internal discussion about your proposal. At this time, I move that we conclude this session and we'll get, to you, we'll get you an answer as soon as possible. Thank you for your time, Sophia. Thank you, Terry.
calm, not knowing the future visioneer's board decision. She feels confident that she did well, but she's still a little nervous. Oh, and what happened with Legacy Systems International? Hi, Austin. Oh, hello. Why are uh, you calling me on Skype? <laughs> well, we are dealing with Legacy Systems International, after all. True. I Did thought we would uh, give the client the good news. Give her a call. Oh, uh, good news? Did you really? <laughs> Did you oh, find a solution? I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you that I fixed her problem. You did? I really? Did. That's amazing. Yes, thank, thank you very God. much. You know, it's, <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> okay, Austin, before yes. we call her, tell me what you did to solve the problem. Oh, uh, are, you, are you sure you want to you know, talk to her first? All right. No, I'm not really sure I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, uh, basically, I completely gutted that archaic rat's nest of code. You know, I, I basically a typical Saturday night. It took a few hours, but it was fun for me. And uh, yeah, you, you know, it was the plugin that was, it was the plugin that was broken. Uh, okay, I got it. I got it. You <laughs> took a big headache off my plate. Thank you. You're Let's call awesome. Julie back in and Absolutely. let her know. Hey guys! Hey, Hi, Tell me the good news! Guess what? What? Austin solved your problem! Oh, oh my gosh. Thank goodness. You're very I mean, welcome. Thank you. You guys are miracle <laughs> workers. You helped us out in our darkest hour. Now our product launch can go ahead. You're um, Austin deserves all the praise. He's the one that got it solved. Solved. It's very thank you, Austin. Why, you're very welcome, my lady. Thanks, Austin. Oh, Sophia, one more thing. Yeah? Hi, Sophia. Evo, you're with Julie? Yeah. <laughs> I invited her. We have some news for you. Jesus. Okay. Jesus. okay. Yeah, Sophia, we couldn't say anything until now. You know how markets will be affected with gossip, but I sold our company. So Legacy Systems to Julie's company. So Legacy Systems just completed a leveraged buyout of advanced integration. What? Really? You did? <laughs> you know what that means. I'm not just a client. I'm now the president. No way. No way. <laughs> That's right. Legacy Systems has been around since the dawn of time. And our name and clientele reflect that. Advanced integrations, forward thinking, culture of innovation, and future proofing is exactly what we need if we're going to remain a leader in the coming decade. This company isn't going to continue to be known as a Luddite brand on my watch. We want to be in the metaverse. And I've been watching your work, Sophia, while this acquisition has been in progress, and I must say, I'm very impressed. Thank you. Thank you. Which, which brings us to some other news, Sophia. We just heard back from Future Visioneers, and they gave us their answer. And? Hello? We're just messing with you. Uh, <laughs> you won. Really, that's That's amazing. right. You did it, Sophia. The Future Visioneers board unanimously approved our open source proposal. Now the real work begins. Woohoo! <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Advanced Integrations intends to be the leader in metaverse interoperability. Your work developing the open na navigation API for metaversal traversal is exactly what this ecosystem needs right now. And we're ready to invest big to get all the key players to the table to get a consensus on open standards. The sooner we achieve that, the sooner we get to mass market adoption. So let's go. Let's make all those boats rise. I didn't make this decision lightly, Sophia. This acquisition is going to be the right choice for us. We need Legacy's reputation to get the right people to the table to push these standards. There's just one thing. Sophia, we're going to need someone to head up this effort. And I think Chris has been doing a great job. But, but, but after how you delivered with Future Visioneers today, we've decided to offer you the promotion to global head of our XR division, chair of our standards what? committee. What? Really? That's amazing. Of course, I accept. I bet, Evo, you'd say yes before we told you this comes with a sizable raise. Well, I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, oh. I bet you would say that, love. <laughs> 
Oh, you were betting on me, were you? Yeah, <laughs> you, you were. bet we were. <laughs> no one knows better than you. <laughs> the challenges we're up against, there are a lot of competing interests that want to keep the walls around their gardens. Consumers don't care. They want the path of least resistance. Mm -hmm. We think you've got the metal to convince them that an open metaverse is the only winning play. Sophia, congratulations and great job today. Thank mm -hmm. you. Congratulations to you two too. Sophia. Bye. 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 Sophia wants to tell her mom the big news, but first she has to track her down in the metaverse. She uses her own open navigation API and finds her mom checking out the latest artwork in a famous museum. Yes, I'm, I'm here with the uh, Nikki de saint Fall sculptures from the Stravinsky Fountain right here outside the Louvre. The real ones are, are over by the pump. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and look at these beautiful sculptures. You know that the, she's my favorite artist, right? You know, too bad they don't have Nikki de saint Hans Han <laughs> sculpture here. Talk about portals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm glad that women artists like her are get, finally getting their due. I know. Yeah. Uh, but, but you had a big presentation today, didn't you? Mom, I did. I had a huge presentation and I got the contract. <gasps> and oh, on, wow. Yes, and on oh. top of that, Advanced Integrations gave me a promotion to Global Head of XR and Chair of the Standards Committee. Oh, that's so exciting, Sophia. I'm really, really happy for you and so very proud of you. But you taught me one the day. Well, I did introduce you to technology from the time you were very young and encouraged you to explore your creative impulses. Not to mention that I dragged you along to my Women of Cyberspace meetups way before the metaverse was a thing. But give yourself some credit, darling. You do such a great job of explaining these things to people. It's surprising that you still have to, but apparently you do. So true. Thank you, mom. Oh, well, I just wanted to come in here and tell you the good news. Um, I do have a dinner to run to in the real world with my friends. So I'll talk to you later. Okay, darling. Well, um, I, I really am, am so proud of everything that you have learned, all your knowledge and your ability to explain these things to people and understand, help them understand why interoperability is so very important. Wow, my daughter, the head of XR. Thank you. <laughs> bye, Mom. Uh, bye, darling. Love you. Yeah, no? have you guys eaten here before? No, no, I haven't. All right, all right. Yeah. Eat it. Food here is amazing. Amazing. <laughs> it's just Damon. Hey, hey David. <laughs> That's awesome. Chrissy's on her way. She'll just be a little late. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Nice. It's been a while since I've talked to her, so yeah. Excited to see her. <laughs> That's fantastic to see you. So, so what's this big news that you have to share with us? Well, I had a huge day and some amazing news, but we can talk about that. Yeah, later. let's talk about that later. Let's, uh, okay. First, <laughs> let's talk about food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The food yeah. here, as I said, is mm, chef's kiss. Really? And the menu is super, super Wait, cool. This which is the is menu? Why? Uh huh. You okay. got it. Oh, this is a place with the WebXR augmented reality menu. Mm -hmm. yeah, you get so. yeah, 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 yeah. So what do we got here? Yeah. So okay. Do? So it's it's not too difficult. All you have to do is scan the placemat. Uh -huh. Okay. You see Hold that? On. Oh wow, it looks delicious. Very cool. Yeah. So then there's. I, yeah, 
I heard about this. It has a uh, great plane detection. You know, it's right on the table. The <laughs> I mean, like, look at this. Boots like, look right at there in front of me. It's amazing. <laughs> wow, I love this. Yeah, so you get, uh, so it's like, it's really simple here. So all you have to mm -hmm. do is like, you go on the filters. Uh -huh. uh, Dulce, you're gluten free. Yeah. Okay, so you can click on that and that's gonna filter out the foods. Damon, you're dairy free right, as well. Right, 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 right. We can combine those as well. And then starts uh, picking okay, out the so different foods good, yeah. that uh, match the filters. Wow. And you can see here, uh, these eventually load up. It's like super, super delicious food. Oh, ooh, look at that, look at that. Mm. That's awesome. This is super cool. Yeah. Mamma Mia, I mean, Mama's Italian Garden's got it going on. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we always have this? I can see the ingredients, the information, the nutrition, what it is. This is so helpful because I keep confusing my capers with capicola and I can't <laughs> tell my bruschetta from my prosciutto. Damon, Damon, we all know, you gotta pronounce it. Brosciutto, gabagula. <laughs> mm. This is great. The house special has my name on it, but I filtered out that gabagool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, pick an entree. Okay, yeah. Mm. All right, I think I might do this one. I'm good. Boop. That was quick. Hey! Oh, you hey. Forget about you, Christy. I ordered you the lasagna. I know you're a creature of habit. Oh, I love those layered meals. Thank you, Sophia. <laughs> Awesome. All right, everybody all set? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we're all set. Okay, good. Now, let's put our phones away and mm -hmm. focus on being human beings. Oh, I forgot how to do that. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, Fia, yeah. <laughs> what's the news? What's the tea? Spill it. Come on, what's up? Well, you are looking at the new global head of XR and oh. chair of the standards committee. What? <laughs> hey, Sophia. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. I know Thank how ridiculously you. hard you work. Do I? Yeah, you do. Thanks. <laughs> Testimony. <laughs> you deserve this. You've done such a great job. <laughs> yeah, tell us more. What was that re mention about the client not taking your recommendation? Well, I did. Uh, the, getting the deal done today was huge, but check out this twist. I had a burning, raging dumpster fire to put out this morning, mm -hmm. but Austin handled it. Thank God for him. I don't know what I would do without him. But when we were, I calling, love that yeah, guy. Yeah, I know he's awesome. <laughs> he's awesome, especially that, that little accent that he yeah. has. Uh, <laughs> but when we were, when we were calling, calling the client back to tell her the good news, and, I and? found out that she bought my company, and now what? my 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 client is now effectively my boss as well. Wow, shut the door. So your company got acquired yep. by the other. Yep. Well, I may need to call my broker, unless that's insider trading. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. It's already public, but imagine the surprise that I had. But listen, guys, I love my work. I love the tech that I get to work with, but most of all, I love working with all of you. Without all of you, the metaverse would be a really lonely place. Amen. 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 You said it. Yeah. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers. Metaverse, <laughs> 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 <laughs>